so in the skills section make sure to add the skills that are relevant to the job description don't keep the descriptions way too long it needs to be brief and concise make sure your resume is all neat and clean and easy to understand and it's such that that it's easy to find the things that they're looking for everyone welcome to coding ninja's youtube channel this is tripti and in today's video i'll be guiding you through the session on how to make a resume and make sure to watch the video till the very end and do like share and comment on this video if you like it and also subscribe to the coding ninja's youtube channel so let's just get into the video okay so for this video i'll be dividing it into majorly two parts the first part includes the structure of the resume and the second part i'll be discussing in the form of pointers that can uh, increase the chances of your uh, resume getting shortlisted so i'll start off with the structure of the resume so at the beginning or at the top you need to specify your personal info that includes your name your contact number your email address and uh, your linkedin account if you want to attach that and make sure you can even add the hyperlink and uh, next comes your educational qualification section where you need to specify your school or the and the college or university you're studying in and the percentages and gpas acquired there so after the educational uh, qualification section uh, you need to add your internships or experiences if any and in that for your internship specify the job title the company that you've worked for and in the description of that internship make sure to specify what was the aim or what was uh, what was the work done there and what are the skills that you've acquired throughout the internship and if there was any final product that you created make sure to specify that as well and what are the uses or what was the purpose or how what was the product all about basically so this was for the internship section after that it come there comes your project section in your project section make sure to write the project title properly and then in the description of the project write the aim of the project the skills that you used and the final product or what was the use of it purpose of it and then the uh, and then one thing uh, more if you have deployed it anywhere make sure to specify that as well because it helps in making an impact on the interview so this was for the project section uh, next comes your skills so in the skill section make sure to add the skills that are relevant to the job description no uh, don't make the skill section way too generic so that like it will become difficult for the interviewer to find the skills that you know make you the right candidate so that is why it is very necessary that you write the skills that are uh, totally relevant to the job description you don't have to just fill off the resume with random stuff so after your skill section comes your achievements and awards here you can add your uh, like for the uh, competitive programmers they can add about their profile cp profiles and for the people if you have given any uh, competitions like coding competitions or any hackathons or you've participated anywhere and have won uh, some prize or maybe you have secured some rank then you can mention it there in the whole section or if you have any awards you can mention that so after uh, this section comes your pr section which for tech roles does not play that much of a role you can specify maybe one or two pors that you have for non tech roles it plays a crucial part so make sure to add the relevant pors that you have yeah that's it this was the basic structure of the resume but that doesn't mean that you have to follow the exact same order this was the order that i particularly followed and the people in my college follow but uh, you can uh, change the order of this whole section uh, of the whole resume but the basic sections remain these only so this was about the structure in uh, next few points i'll discuss uh, the things that can help your resume get shortlisted so for the f uh, pointers the first point that i'll discuss is keep your resume a one page don't keep the descriptions that you're writing in your projects or in your internship or in your awards anything in any of the section don't keep the descriptions way too long it needs to be brief and concise so that the interviewer and anybody who's reading your resume is able to figure out or pick out the things that they're looking for in a candidate and because see they don't have that much time to you know filter out the stuff that they're looking for in you so instead if you'll make it one page or that can only be done if you make the content brief and precise so it will make your resume stand out or it will help the interviewer to uh, like not miss out on some of the skills that make you stand out from other people so yeah make your resume a one page so let's move to the next point 
so this second point is specifically for the people who are applying for tech roles and that includes the project section so that is adding links in your project section so whenever you're specifying your projects don't just write the name of your project make sure to add the link uh, to maybe your github repository where you have saved your project and specify the link in front of the project name so this um, helps or makes it easier if the interviewer wants to see uh, your project so he or she can directly do it with the help of the github link that you've provided so this was for the second point moving on so for the third point i'll say no false information and it is a very important point don't lie about anything in your resume otherwise when the resume reading is done and if interviewer finds that you're not able to answer certain questions about a skill or anything that you've written in your resume so it will not reflect as a good thing or uh, it will not be reflected as a good candidate and it might reduce your chances of getting selected so make sure to write only those thing on the resume that you know about don't uh, don't just write projects that are totally not yours and you've not even studied a thing about it and don't even write the skills that you don't know anything about make sure to be honest when it comes to resume so this was for the third point so the fourth point it is keep it simple don't make your resume all shiny and colorful because it becomes difficult for a person to read through your resume when it's that you know colorful and confusing so if the interviewer or any other person is reading your resume it should be easy to understand and it should not be difficult to find things that they're looking for so in that case uh, just keep it simple uh, black and white resumes are the perfect choice for that and don't try to experiment much with your resume so the next point is uh, formatting so in continuation to the previous point itself make sure your resume is all neat and clean and easy to understand and it's such that that it's easy to find the things that they're looking for so do the proper formatting if uh, it requires making tables make the proper tables make pointers in when you're writing the descriptions or in projects or in internships or even in your achievement section make pointers so pointers will help you make it uh, like brief and concise so that is why uh, keep it simple and the formatting should be easy to understand and it should look professional so this was it for this video i really hope you liked it or it helped you a bit and also if you like this video make sure to like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel and stay safe everyone and take care of your health thank you and have a nice day